be really rationed when it comes to applause. Uh, we've been one per person. But actually what we decided uh, within the VADS board, it would actually be very nice to acknowledge the hard work that the judges do. Um, because without judges, we couldn't really have a competition. So what we have decided to do is to start a new award, which is Judge Emeritus, which will be awarded to selected individuals for their contribution over the years to our judging fraternity. They do a lot more than just sit here during the day in the dark. They train, they study, they have their guild meetings, and they do a lot of hard work. So what I'd like to do is invite to the stage Mike Warner, our chairman of the Guild of Judges, to make some awards. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Um, some of you may know already, but this weekend we celebrate the dedication of two supreme examples of what has basically made British Barbershop what it is today. Two men who have truly given of themselves to bring our music to a wider audience. And in both cases, they have been at the absolute forefront of creating the judging and education community for Babs as well as winning the odd gold medal on the route there as well. My speech today owes much to the memories of their friends within the Guild. Sadly, I'm not going to tell you who they are just yet, but very unfortunately, one of the members uh, is not actually here this weekend, so I'll be calling on somebody else to take the award in their stead. Uh, but we thought it was important to still celebrate that person today and for everything that they've done. So in no particular order, our first example began his barbershop walk of life in 1968 in Houston, Texas, before returning to the UK where he joined the Crawley Chordsman, taking over as their musical director in 1974. This, then I hasten to add, well maybe still now as well, young man, became the first chairman of the Babs Music Committee, responsible for music education in the association and helped in the forming of the Guild of Judges as we know it today. He served as category director of no less than three scoring categories in Babs, arrangement, interpretation, and presentation. Not, I hasten to add, all at the same time, though he tells me he probably could have actually done them all at the same time. <laughs> he was also a BHS certified presentation judge for 14 years and regularly served on district conventions in the States and in Canada, helping to keep Babs connected to the mothership. Ah, but I hear you say, who is our... Who is our second barbershop legend? In response to an article in what used to be known as the Babs Newsletter, our young hero attended his first training seminar in December 1978. As it happens, he had just purchased a bumper bargain bucket of B pencils from the well-known toy and music store, Barbershop 7th Chords R Us. <laughs> Immediately, it became clear that there was no question as to his suitability as a candidate, but there was deep concern over the venue and accommodation standards of that seminar. In 1979, he was encouraged to wear the shoes of the new accommodation manager and find a venue in the Birmingham area for the newly formed Babs Guild of Judges. These shoes must have been a perfect fit that he is still wearing them now, a mere 39 years later. In 1981, he judged his first contest as a certified judge 
and with the subsequent change to the music category, he retrained and recertified. He has been category director twice, chairman of the guild, and holds the keys to the lesser known guild French wine cellar. <laughs> to date, he is either the slowest ever learner in Babs, or the most dedicated teacher in wanting to develop the individual singers of Babs and Labs to attain their best possible musicality. He has attended every single Babs Harmony College. He was Babs first music services and education officer, organized Harmony College between 1982 and 1992, and continues to be a stream leader. However, after many years working through his bargain bucket of barbershop B scoring pencils, it would appear that his last pencil has been used. And dare we say it snapped. <laughs> Both these men stand as supreme examples of the musician striving to reinforce the joy in others of what this simple barbershop chord can celebrate. In both cases, probably their greatest guild legacy has been their ability to help nurture and support candidate and applicant judges, carefully guiding and steering them through their training to become certified BABS judges. So we would like to take this opportunity to publicly thank Bob Walker and Rod Butcher, if you hadn't guessed it by now, for all that they have done for British Barbershop. Together, they have built the most substantial foundations for the Babs future, a true legacy in itself, and their ability as judges and coaches is unparalleled. Leading from the front as active participants, quartetting, directing, judging, coaching, they both embody what it is to be committed to British Barbershop. Both of these men were my encouragement and inspiration when I was first recruited as a candidate and I know others would say exactly the same. I personally owe them both a huge debt of thanks. Sadly, as I say, he's not here, but Bob Walker and Rod Butcher, we award you Judge Emeritus status, the mark that we will always regard you as Babs judges. Thank you very much, I'll invite. Just, just so that you are all aware, the other handsome gentleman on the stage is uh, probably the most other experienced presentation judge and performance judge to have worked with Bob. And I say with Bob not being able to be here this weekend, um, Pat has gracefully agreed to accept the award on Bob's behalf. But uh, we've asked for this to be videoed so that Bob can get the sense of the sentiment of support that you have all offered to them in their history within Babs. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>